Good morning, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Uh, watching 87.50 here on MRNA, which is kind of why I'm rushing here. Just making a move, looking for a potential breakdown. Only gonna do 100 shares because it is still pre-market and this is a very fast mover. Well, and as of now, it's looking like it might bounce, which would actually be pretty good. Let me actually bring down this chart, there we go. So that's the pre-market chart that I'm watching here. So again, what would be ideal <clears throat> excuse me, is if this thing wants to bounce up a little bit and then pull back. In fact, if that were to occur, I might actually up my position size a little bit because it would look uh, that much more attractive if this candle, like I said, wants to bounce up some. But that is the current plan, so I will keep you updated. I'm actually gonna get this alert in the chat room here. So there we go. Now, if you're not familiar, I do have a, a chat room, private community. A lot of people, times people are always asking, hey Clay, how does that work? So there we have a real time example. I should note that the, this is actually live, so I don't know if this thing's ever gonna fail or not. I have no idea if this will be broken. Uh, there's getting hit right now in at 87.50. So like I said, let's see if we can actually get the breakdown of it and try to get some more follow through. which so far so good. Kind of. I mean, it's moved on through it, but really a question of am I being too greedy in my ambitions or am I being realistic? I'm thinking this thing has a great chance of getting down to 87 and maybe below. I'd like to cover half at I ate right around 87, if I can get even more than that, then fantastic. Nice. So there you go, took out 50. So now I still have 50 shares left. Hindsight, yeah, shoulda, coulda, woulda done more than uh, 100 shares, but as I was saying, it is pre-market right now, and in pre-market, um, you know, things can be more volatile, and it can work in your favor, certainly, but it can also work against you, which, a lot of times people forget to factor in. Pull off some more at 86.50 if it can get down to that area. So overall, I suppose this still might be, could be a break even trade, maybe even a small loser, because it could still bounce on me here. So I'm not you know, out of the woods yet. If I can get this last allotment out, then it should become a, a guaranteed winning trade. But like I said, don't really want to pull anything out until it can at least get down to 86.50 mark. Which it's struggling to do right now. Now back up above. All right, just 25 shares left now. So not this is not gonna be a huge trade for me, unfortunately, didn't really get the movement to the downside. And now it's bouncing up here on me. So I wanna give it a little chance to see if it wants to drop back. Whoa, there we go, all right. So all out there, $31, nothing to brag about. Uh, but, uh, you know, the one way I did play it the right way, and quite frankly, the, the right way, it's easy to sit here in hindsight and say, oh, I shoulda, coulda, woulda, but 100 shares, manage my risk via there, had this thing kept, had I been wrong and it bounced upwards, then I would've had people saying, Clay, why did you do so many shares in pre-market? But of course, that voice doesn't show up to people because it actually worked in my favor, so the only voice that shows up is, Clay, you should have done more. Have you been there before? And I just give you this because I want you to know you're totally not alone if you've had these voices show up in your head too because that's how psychology works. That's why training is so difficult because you have to manage your mind. And the way I'm willing to bet your mind works is if you get in a, a trade and it works, you're always saying, ah, I should have done more. But if it goes against you, you're saying, ah, why did I do so many? I, I should have lessened up the position size. So yeah, in this case, now the members, and you saw that all play out, members had, a, had they done more than me, uh, you know, they could have done very, very well on that. Let's see, how far down did it actually go? 
Yeah, I want, it moved over a dollar in my favor. I believe. Let's check. Nope, not quite. Eh, yeah. About 90 cents in our favor. So that would have been a, a nice little trade there. But, well, I, I'm definitely probably going to watch this one out of the opening gates too. But that's all I have for now. So there we go. Nothing big, but good mechanics, good habits. Uh, you know, a lot of learning lessons there from a, a trade management standpoint in terms of managing risk via position size in and of itself. So uh, let's see, market now opens up here in about 24 minutes officially. Maybe another pre-market on this one. If not, I'll just see you back at the open. All right, the markets are now officially open and I'm watching MRNA. This is the one minute time frame. So I'd like to see this bounce up here a little bit. But interestingly enough, 87.50 once again is an area that I'm curious about. So good. So this is what I'm looking at right now. MRNA, dead cat. Dead cat just meaning a fake move to the upside, watching for weakness. So again, would like to see this come up a little bit more. What is that area right there? 80, 850. Gonna get that alerted as a flush point. <clears throat> Excuse me, so let's see if it wants to go down there. Which if it does, that'd make a great candle right here. So in at 88.50 exactly. Well, then decided to bounce. Added another 500 up there. We'll look to potentially add some more at around 90, got those. So let's see if this thing wants to break to the downside here. Have some out there at 89.25. Got those. Got those, 500 left. Okay, 200 left. You need the stamps? Okay. Yeah, they're back there. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> still recording. I'm still recording. We're right in the middle of a good trade here. We can pay for those stamps, I think. Would like to see this come down to 88 before I take off another 100. And I think it's got a good chance of that happening here. So let's see if we can get some more downside. I mean, it's hovering, what is that? 88.35 looks to be the key, there's the break. So let's see if we can get the push down through 88, which like I said, there we go. Even more so. Okay, took off, now I'm in the last 100 shares here. We'll look to take off some more if this thing wants to get down through 86.50, which it does. So 50 shares left now at this point. Twenty-five shares left, just for uh, just to let this one run. So you can see down here, where'd my pen go? Up over a thousand dollars on the trade. Still have over a hundred dollars open, and I don't. So for those of you that are maybe not familiar with my screen, that number could keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. I don't know because it's like I said, I still have twenty-five shares left. Uh, so that's my open and then the close, meaning I've closed $1,000 in the trade. So my remaining 25 shares, 
We'll see how valuable those can get. But yeah, like I said, just gonna let those ones work for me here. A high of 86.51. So we're gonna put a stop loss up there at 86. Well, at this point, we might as well just go to 01. So now I'm just moving my stop loss down. So at this point, it's not a matter of if I make money. All right, so all out there for, let's see, total of $1,142, it is 935. So $1,100 in five, well, no, I take that back because I was up $30. Oh, okay, so still, even if you subtract out the $30 that I was already up, $1,100 in five minutes of trading. And you saw that all mapped out here. It was all pointed out as a flush point. Now the thing to take note of that I did not wait. So here's just a little learning lesson here. I didn't wait for the flush to happen. I actually got in too soon. Now granted, I was very, very, I, I, I like the odds of it rolling over. Let me just put it that way. Uh, so. Those people, but I anticipated the break, right? Because I didn't, I didn't want to get left behind. But that's the downside. Sometimes if you anticipate the break, well, it might not break. And then all of a sudden you're in a trade that technically speaking, maybe you shouldn't be. So for those people that uh, waited for the break, waited for the flush to happen, well then you just saw, wow, it just got halted. Beautiful, I'm so, yeah, that is awesome. And not just because I made the money, but to know that members had the exact same chance that I did. Um, and like I said, given that it bounced, I mean, you, I, this was one of the, yeah, added the position, but we'll just take, I don't wanna take it like everybody added like I did and then got that big of a position and then well, let's just take it at face value. For the people that waited for it to break through 88.50, I mean, this thing is now halted five and a half dollars lower and you saw it all play out. So overall, congratulations to you members that watched this. Uh, fantastic way to, to get things going here in the first five minutes of the morning, so. But yeah, if you're curious how the chat room works, well, there is a literal real-time example. And again, none of this is post commentary or you know, I, this is not a voiceover. This was all live, happened right before your eyes. And um, heck, my, my wife walked in, got some stamps during it. Uh, but yeah, so overall though, very, very nice opening trade. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap things up. I mean, literally 1100 bucks, five minutes. I'm not a greedy savage. I'm gonna take that and move on with my day because at the end of the day, to me, that's what day trading, the lifestyle is all about. Not about the Rolex watches, not about the fancy cars. I mean, if you like that stuff, that's cool. That, that, that's, if that's what you're after, go for it. By all means, go for it. For me, the lifetime or the lifestyle, what I'm after is just freedom of time, right? 1100 bucks, five minutes, I'm gonna go enjoy my day. Uh, so if you are interested though in joining the group that you just saw, this being uh, all the alerts being made in real time too, just go to claytrader.com forward slash team. $99, we're gonna use this for three months access, not $99 per month, per three months, which breaks down to $8.25 per week. So the question really just becomes, do you believe you can get more than $8.25 per week of value? If you think you can, then you'll get a great return on your investment. So go and you can check that out here. There's also a mobile app that comes with it, so it's not like you have to stay, change your computer or anything like that. So check out that group. Also, finally, before I go, if you enjoy these live trade videos, if you want me to keep making them, please hit that like button. That's a very time efficient way to communicate to me that you do enjoy these uh, videos. Questions, comments, suggestions, leave those down below. I will read and reply to them. And then finally, check out the channel as a whole. There's lots of other live trade videos, uh, so you can check those out and hopefully you decide to ultimately subscribe to the channel. But yeah, check out the community. I'd love to trade alongside you. And if you wanna get a, you know extra eyeballs to help you find tradable opportunities, then yeah, like I said, just goes down to do you think you can get more than $8.25 of value? I think you can. Thanks for hanging out. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too good, way too, good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, 
totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.